Hey there, so today we have another review, and this is a beer courtesy of John. Thank you so much. This is his American Stout, coming in at 7.6%, 36 IBUs. So it's actually uh, a little bit outside of the ABV range of uh, American Stout, which is 5 to 7% on BJCP, and then um, IBU range is 35 to 75, so uh, in that range. And so yes, I've actually um, judged this style and a bunch of other stouts uh, at a homebrew competition, so I'm really excited to uh, review this homebrew. So this cap did not have an issue, pours a beautiful head on there. Uh, beer poured out with a dark brown color, uh, beer is beautifully uh, black, and then it has a uh, medium plus tan head to it. Let's get the aroma on this one. Mmm, smells quite nice, yeah. Roasty, a little bit nutty actually um, from the mold. Yeah, it's almost got this kind of like peanut butter, uh, peanut skin kind of thing going on, or peanut, just like mashed peanuts. A nice chocolate note to it. Yeah, I mean, it's decently robust for uh, an American style, so it probably has a little bit more malt character to it on, on the nose for me. Chocolate driving for me. Yeah, it's just chocolate and peanuts for days. Yeah, not even necessary. Cheers. Mm, quite nice, yeah. Um, this beer is actually <laughs> decently bitter. So it's probably from the use of roasted malts and really the 36 IBUs here, but it has a nice prop, uh, propped up bitterness there. And the flavor profile, roast, um, cocoa, deep dark chocolates, rolling onto a little bit of this kind of acrid quality. So I'm curious um, if there's issue, issues possibly with like mash pH uh, jumping in here. The 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 malts drive a little aggressive. Um, yeah, not like even towards imperial stout quality. So a little too aggressive for American stout. It, it gets a little bit too kind of like burnt and ashy and acrid for me. I mean, personally, I enjoy it, but I'm trying to judge for a style for you, uh, John. Nice medium mouthfeel, a little bit of that kind of caramel, nuttiness in the middle. The hops end up coming in prob probably a little bit. You know what? It might not be just um, the malt, but also the bitterness might be too aggressive. It's a little bit too green and like weed like I don't I don't know if like what hops are in here it might be a little too aggressive of a green hop character uh, that's coming in so I can't imagine why that'd be the case I imagine it's only a you know early edition kind of just like um, 60 minute kind of bitter your beer maybe a 30 minute edition actually no for American style yeah maybe some later editions but I, I maybe pull back on those earlier uh, those um, late editions and really focus on the hoppiness on this one really pulling out just IBUs and really hoppiness as I wait more I think I, I might have been wrong earlier talking about it being too smoky and acrid I think it might just be too bitter for me um, and again, it's American Stout, so it should be good. This should have a good amount of bitterness to it. Mm. All right, I, I think I was just dancing around where preferences, where style is, and this is pretty much spot on where the style should be. It's a little too hoppy in my mind. I think, yeah, I would argue it's a little too hoppy. Uh, that granted, this is fresh. You know, a lot of the stouts you won't get won't be as fresh. So quite hoppy, and. Um, Nice chocolate driving for days, uh, good malt profile. So yeah, quite nice. And and if I had to give this a rating, mm, very good. This would be a B plus. This would be B plus A minus range, and I think you would judge pretty well in competition. But still, that bitterness is a little too prominent for me. So I think that's uh, one of the issues. So um, check that out, and then. Otherwise, you've got a really good recipe and, and great execution here. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Thank you so much, John. Cheers. Later.